We've talked about connecting to various data sources within our video series, uh, but I also want to talk about connecting to MySQL. MySQL is an open source database, um, so it's free, uh, that you can download and use uh, locally on your computer or use at the enterprise level. It's a very um, robust database, um, very comparable to SQL Server. So in order to connect to MySQL, you need to download the MySQL ODBC connector. So if you just do a, a search in Google for MySQL ODBC connector, you will get um, the, the download page for MySQL. And so uh, you just need to download either the 32-bit, depending upon what platform you're on, but the 32-bit the or the uh, the 64-bit um, MSI installer will suffice. So once you download those um, and you install it, now you can then connect Excel directly to MySQL. So let's do that, and we're gonna we're gonna connect to MySQL and pull in some data to a pivot table. So we're gonna go to the data tab from other sources from Microsoft Query. And we're going to create a new data source here. We're going to call this MySQL. And then here we're going to select our driver. So now that we, we remember, we, we've installed the, the MySQL connector ODBC driver. So once we install that, that should be available in your list of drivers. MySQL ODBC 5.1 driver. Let's connect to that. And so um, we have to give it a um, uh, we have to give it a, a name here that we want to connect to the actual um, server name. So uh, uh, my uh, what I have here set up is my local host. And and so this could be like if you're uh, hosting your SQL, your MySQL database with GoDaddy, there would be a, a fully qualified name here that you could potentially connect to, or some other hosting facility, or 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 a server that you have that you could connect to. But I just have this on my local machine now. With a successful connection. Let's just connect to. This is a classic models database. This is just a test database that comes with MySQL. And I'm going to go ahead and save my user ID and password. It's going to ask me about this whether I really want to save it or not. And yes, I do. I can select the default table. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just select my employees table. Click OK. And now um, I have available my MySQL database to, and I can pull in uh, various tables into um, my query wizard here. So let's just pull in my employees table. Actually, I'm going to pull in my, let's see, I have customers. Let's pull in customers. Next, and we can choose to, uh, you know, only include certain rule, rule, rows, uh, filter on specific columns or whatever. We can sort by, uh, you know, specific columns, and then we can return it to Microsoft Excel um, or to Microsoft Query. And Microsoft Query is where we can actually edit the query um, that we are creating here in the in the, the GUI interface. And I'm going to return it as a pivot table. Alright, so now we have our customers table um, here within our pivot table. So if I want to bring in, let's say, my customer name 
into my row area and I want to bring in the phone number for each customer. Let's push this, let's change the layout of this. Let's remove the subtotals. Okay, so we have a list of our customers and our phone numbers um, by customer. So this is a general the general concept of how to connect to MySQL. You need to first download the MySQL driver, which is free, um, and then install that, and then you can then connect from Excel. Uh, with your pivot tables directly to your MySQL database. And so I can, if I right click my pivot table, I can refresh my pivot table to get the latest data from the database. 